now we are getting into the radiation by the way in your textbook there is supplementary material also for radiation if you flip your pages uh, go to the back side of the book there are supplementary material for respective chapters don't start flipping right now okay let's talk about radiation heat transfer now we know that every object is made up of electrons protons and neutrons okay what happens is that uh, any object since it is made up of charged particles and you are going to learn in class 12th that when a charged particle accelerate or there is some vibration it will emit em wave have you heard of electromagnetic radiation yes sir okay so this em wave if the wavelength of em wave if it lies in uh what is that zone infrared zone infrared zone okay then i will say that there is a radiation heat transfer so basically every matter on this earth emits em wave okay uh like we as humans also we tend to emit the em waves all right because there are charged particles inside us because of which our entire body is made up of so when they accelerate when the some lattice vibration happens inside it because of that there is a radiation transfer that happens now this vibration and the acceleration you cannot get rid of the vibration of the electrons and the protons will go away only at absolute zero temperature that is minus 273 degrees celsius so if your temperature is above minus 273 degrees celsius the electrons and protons of the substance will vibrate and it is going to emit em wave and this em wave only we are talk we are saying that this is radiation heat transfer only okay but how come if an object is emitting radiation if it is not at absolute zero how come the temperature of that object remains constant for example let's take an example of bed in your room the bed is continuously emitting radiation em wave it is emitting and every em wave it emit it's like it is emitting heat so why the temperature of the bed is not going down it is emitting a heat so its temperature should go down it is releasing heat so why it is not going down anyone so because of the air present others because it is not only releasing heat it is also absorbing heat okay so if rate at which the bed is releasing heat is same as the rate with which it is absorbing the heat then the temperature of the bed will not change okay so there is an equilibrium that is there okay so this kind of heat transfer was extensively studied by stephen boltzmann by stephen and boltzmann two scientists so they have come at they have came up with an expression of heat transfer in the case of radiation so if there is a radiation that is happening then the amount of radiation will be equal to this please write down sigma e a t raised to power 4 okay where sigma is stephen's constant
okay its value is 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 we we are going to come back to the units of sigma let me define everything else e is the emissivity it has no dimensions it is a fraction it could be between 0 and 1 A is the surface area, and T is the temperature of surface. Now tell me what is the unit of uh, Stephen's constant? Anyone? By the way, this is ten to the power minus eight. Sorry about that. One per second per meter squared per Kelvin per hour. Okay, what is the unit of dQ by dt? dQ by dt is joule per second, mm -hmm. right? Which is also equal to the power unit, which is watts. Okay, joule per second is watts, right? So watt per what is a? meter square per kelvin to the power 4 so this is a unit watt per meter square per kelvin to the power 4 okay so this is how you do it and one very important finding all of you please write down is that radiation is a surface phenomenon it does not matter what is the temperature inside it only matters what is the temperature of the surface okay and also it only depends on the surface area it does not matter what is the volume okay and when i talk about emissivity emissivity is a measure of how much fraction of heat will be absorbed or emitted relative to a black body so basically it is uh, assumed that a black body is a perfect emitter or absorber what it says is that whatever radiation that falls on a black body what is a black body and bo a body which is whose surface is black and how do you determine uh, the black color black is basically is not a color basically okay black is the absence of color so why certain object is yellow because all other colors that are falling on that object they get absorbed but yellow light is reflected back so you are able to see it as a yellow color what happens with the black body is that all the light that is falling on it it absorbs so no, nothing actually got reflected off so it becomes absence of color okay similarly when it emits the radiation then also it emits all the kinds of wavelengths possible okay so it is assumed that it is assumed that the black body can emit the maximum amount of uh, energy as a radiation okay and similarly a black body can absorb maximum amount of heat energy due to radiation okay so what about an object which is not perfectly black let's take a brown color or a red color to take into account of that we have factored in e so e could be equal to let us say 0.8 for brown 
okay so you need to substitute here as 0.8 then you can use the same formula which was meant for the black body for non black bodies as well for the black body e will be equal to 1 and you can directly write sigma 8 t raised to power 4 so at times in our numericals it will be written that assume the body is black okay so then it means that assume the value of e to be equal to 1 fine okay let us proceed sir when we are finding radiation of a body which surface are we taking surface area yes sir it can have more than one surface right which surface are we considering total surface i am assuming that all surfaces have the same temperature if all surfaces do not have the same temperature then every surface will radiate corresponding to its own temperature fine okay. you can divide the surfaces based on their temperature but if entire surface at the same temperature you can take entire surface at once Uh, sir this rate is not the same as the rate at which the body that absorbs heat will absorb the heat yes that is what i am going to next okay please write down dq by dt the rate at which the radiation is emitted will be equal to sigma e a temperature of the surface don't write ts temperature of the body you can say tb raised to power 4 okay and the rate at which the heat is absorbed will be equal to sigma ea temperature of surrounding to the power 4 fine so with what rate the body is absorbing heat depends on the temperature of the surrounding okay now the surrounding temperature you can manipulate you can take a hot object like this and put it inside a sphere then for this object the temperature over here is a surrounding temperature okay surrounding temperature doesn't always mean the atmospheric temperature okay so the net heat transfer please write down the net heat transfer will be a subtraction of this emitted minus absorbed so sigma e a t b raised to power 4 minus t s raised to power 4 okay so if t b temperature of body is not equal to t s then what will happen let's take two cases if tb is greater than ts what will happen net net it will net net it will release heat and because of the releasing heat temperature of the body will go down and if you assume temperature of surrounding will remain same as in surrounding is big or let's say atmosphere only then you can't change temperature of surrounding so only tb will go down if it loses heat and as soon as tb becomes equal to ts dq by dt will become zero okay and if ts is less than tb then what will happen absorb heat <laughs> it is same thing which i have written pay attention if ts is greater than tb then it will absorb okay understood so if ts is greater temperature of surrounding is more then it will absorb the heat same thing all right now let us say the mass of the object is m specific heat is s then can i say that dq is equal to ms dt dt is a change of the temperature of body i can say that right and dq by dt will be equal to this by dt so i can equate these two to get a differential equation i hope i am clear if a specific heat is s then dq will be equal to ms dt 
and dq by dt will be ms dt by dt small t in the denominator okay 